morning, Seawolves. My name is Alana, and this is the event preview where we keep you up to date on all things happening around the world in All Things Scholars Academy. Here's what's happening from October 15th to October 21st. Today is also Decades Day, hence our outfits. On Tuesday, October 17th, there will be a high school application workshop for Scholars Grade 8 students. The meeting is virtual and will start at 7 p.m. Be on the lookout for an email of this matter for more information. On Wednesday, the PSAT will be taking place for the 11th graders. The PSAT is a standardized test administered by the College Board and co-sponsored by the National Merit Scholarship Corporation in the United States. On Friday, there will be a student government sponsored dress down day. If you participate, please consider donating $1 which goes to the fund of the student events in our school. Please dress appropriately for school and follow our dress code. And now here's Patrick with the sports and after school report. Thanks, Alana. And hello, everyone. After an eventful week in sports, another packed week of events is in store. Kicking it off on Sunday, October 15th, with the Varsity Girls Soccer vs. Far Rockway Campus at Far Rockway High School at 2 p.m. And on Friday, uh, make sure to go out to Fort Tilden at 4 o'clock p.m. to support them as they have yet another match against Beach Channel Educational Campus. So good luck out there, girls. Now let's backtrack. On Monday and on Tuesday, our co-ed cross-country team will be having two separate meets, boys and girls, at Cunningham Park at 4 o'clock p.m. Go out to support our Seawolves as they go off to the races. In addition, on Tuesday, our girls varsity volleyball team has a match at Epic High School North at 5.30 p.m. Good luck out there, girls, and continue your impressive season. Next up for our boys bowling team, after a 50-50 split in their games last week, they have two meets at Funfest Lanes, both on Wednesday and Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Make sure to get some strikes out there, boys, and good luck to all. Surfing back over to our girls volleyball team, they have yet another match, this time at home, on Thursday at 4.30 p.m. So good luck out there, girls. Make sure to get those aces. As always, make sure to check our school calendar and the PSAL website to stay up to date with practices, games, and scores. Now some exciting information coming from our middle school sports department. Tryouts have just wrapped up last week for our middle school girls volleyball team and games should be coming up in the near term future. Speaking of which, our middle school co-ed soccer team is starting up in November with tryouts and future games, so we'll make sure to keep you up to date with the latest information from the goalposts whenever we get that info. And now, here is Toomey with the world news and cultural events. Thanks, Patrick. In recent news, Israel has suffered a Hamas attack, which has caused fatal casualties in the country. A surprise attack was launched, killing over 1,200 Israelis and about 150 people are being held hostage. Since the attack, Israel has declared war against Hamas, signaling a new chapter in the over a decade long battle over land and power. On Sunday, October 15th, in the first day of Shara Navarati, an annual Hindu festival observed in honor of the goddess Durga, an aspect of Ada Parashakti, the supreme goddess. It spans over nine nights, it marks the end of monsoon, and is observed during the lunar month of Ashvin. In some parts of India, it is celebrated after the autumn harvest and in some others during the harvest. The festival celebrated the victory of goddess Durga against the demon Mahishashura. On Friday, October 20th is the first day of Durga Puja festivities. This festival will conclude on October 24th, 2023. Durga Puja is one of the main festivals of Hindus, which is celebrated that by the devotees with great grandeur and enthusiasm. The first quarter of the moon is Saturday, October 21st at 11.29 p.m. During the first quarter, the moon is 90 degrees away from the sun in the sky and is half illuminated from our point of view. We call it first quarter because the moon has traveled about a quarter of the way around Earth since the new moon. Here's Alana with the special school segment. Thanks, Tumi. Teachers, did you know that once again, Scholars has joined Mind Library NYC? Yes. This partnership allows teachers to borrow class sets of books to support all curriculum areas. They also provide virtual author visits and help students to get public library cards. You can log into mylibrarynyc.org with your DOE credentials and the books will be delivered and picked up by the UPS. Students, 
you don't fall behind because New York State provides a wide variety of free databases for middle school and high school students. No login is needed if in the school building, but if you are prompted at home, the username is book and the password is 123. Ms. Israel has linked them to the middle school and high school classroom library, Google Classrooms. And here's Patrick with our Scholar in the Spotlight. This week's Scholar in the Spotlight is Aiden D. from 10th grade. Although a latecomer to chess at age 10 and was disrupted during COVID-19, Aiden wasted no time to catch up and surpass his peers by hard work and commitment. He practices chess daily, even while on vacation in the summit of Switzerland, Jungfrau, in front of the United Nations in Geneva and on top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. He enjoyed playing chess with chess hustlers in Washington Square Park and owner of the cafe near Union Square and chess enthusiast at the famous chess forum. His rating after an official chess tournament on October 7th is now 1378. This puts him around the 95th percentile of scholastic chess players. Aiden's rating this time last year was around 860. His trajectory is off the charts and is now the strongest chess player we have ever had in the Scholars Academy. It's hard for non-chess um, onlookers to appreciate the progress he is making. It is mind-blowing. He won first, second, and third place trophies as well as numerous medals from two dozen scholastic chess tournaments in the state and Pennsylvania in 2022 as well as in 2023. He is currently working with a chess grandmaster to break through 1,500 ratings by the end of 2023. Keep up the great work, Aiden, and congratulations on your success. Now, if you would like to celebrate the accomplishment of a scholar or a staff member or highlight a special event for our scholars in the spotlight segment, please make sure to email a photo and a short blurb to Mr. Racinos. And that's it for the event preview for this week. We are to meet Patrick and Alana, and we'll see you next time when we bring you more news from the Scholars Academy and the world. Until next time.